What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So, obviously you are all here to know the big secret to how to start Airsoft. Well guys, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, there is no secret. You know, if you ask more experienced players, all they'll say to you is just go. And that is just basically what I'm going to tell you. It is that simple, just go. But, then again, it isn't that simple is it? There is a little bit more to it, so let's get, a, get into it and take a look at what you can do to start. Okay, so first off, you need to find out where your local site is. There's a wonderful place, begins with G, ends in Oogle. Get in there, search Airsoft Liverpool, Airsoft Yorkshire, Airsoft Scotland, Airsoft Germany, I don't know, wherever you are in the world, search on there and find your local site. So once you find your local site, obviously you need to book on. Now, you need to book on for the simple fact is to make sure you've got a place. You don't want to be turned up and you haven't got a place. Some sites are walk on, so just means you can pay and play kind of thing. Or others you need to book on because there's only a limited number of places. The likes of Anzio, you know, the stand. These are prime examples of that. Once the places are gone, you cannot turn up that day because they only have a limited number of places. So you've booked on, read the rules. You know, everyone likes to turn up with smoke grenades, pyro, whatever type of mad contraptions, you know, that and that goes bang and, you know, whatever you want to turn up with, make sure you can turn up with it. You know, there's a lot of sites that don't allow, allow pyro or smoke and aids, you know, so you need to be aware of that. You know, read the rules, find out everything and make sure you're well keyed in to the rules of that site. So you've got a bit of knowledge before even turning up to the site. So the next thing you need to look at is the cost. So, obviously, you need to be able to fund the stuff. Remember, you need BBs. You're going to have to get a rental package. You know, I'm not expecting you all to have rifles. If you turn up with a friend and he's got a few rifles, maybe you can ask him, can he borrow you one? You know, a lot of mates are decent enough to do that. Obviously, just be aware, if you break something, you're going to have to pay for it. But, obviously, that's always an option. So, book a rental, or make sure you've got enough funds for the rental package. Remember, not all rental packages come with ammo as well, so you need to bear that in mind. You might have to buy some BBs, or if you've got a friend, you know, chip in with him and you can share ammo. So, you've booked on, you've got your rental package booked on, next thing to do is get to the site. So, obviously, getting to the site, you know, it's not as always as simple as just getting in a car and going. You know, there, there is other options out there, maybe you're going solo in, or you're going with a friend, you can either jump in a lift with him, or you've got your own car, excellent. Or you can have, have a look at other things like public transport, buses, trains, whatever, taxis, depending on how far it is. You know, you need to look at a way to get to that site. Okay, so obviously all that is cost. Now, Airsoft isn't cheap, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it, because it's not. It does cost a lot of money, and obviously, especially when you're first starting off, it costs a bit more. But once you get into it, trust me, them funds, you'll wish you could go back to them days. So, you've got to your local site, you get into your first game. So what you do, so go to, go to the desk, book in, any questions you need to know about the site, ask the marshals, ask a member of staff, they're going to be the best people to ask for that. So, may, normally, at mo most sites, you'll have time, get all your mags ready, get all your guns ready, whatever, get your key gear ready, and then you'll go for a safety brief. Make sure you pay attention to this, you know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't just uh, stand in the corner talking to your mate and then turn up and you're like, oh, can we, can we throw a grenade in this room? Can we throw grenades this high? Can we do whatever, you know? Bear, bear this in mind, you know, don't, don't just rock up full auto, fully auto in a semi-auto game. So listen to the safety brief, it's key. Remember, so you go into your first game, um, you know, whatever it may be, I don't know what it's going to be pushback game, bomb game, I don't know, you're going into that game, enjoy it, but just remember, always take your hits, listen, you're going to get shot, it's just, a, you wouldn't believe it, but in Airsoft, you do get shot, make sure you call them hits, you know, especially as a new player, a lot of new players get a lot of flack for this, because they're called Teflon Warriors, or they're just rentals, you know, rental noobs, don't take the hits, you know, it's just, it's just the way of life, don't be that guy, take your hits, you will get shot a lot, one being, you do not know the site. You don't know the site. You know, if you've if you've watched videos, if you've watched whatever, you've checked out the site. You might have a rough idea of what things look like, but you're not going to know everything. So the local guys are going to absolutely steamroll you. So just be prepared for that. But 
But as you go into the later into the day, you'll start learning the site and you'll start learning a bit more and you'll become a better player. Over time, you'll be that guy steamrolling the newer guys. So keep that in mind. Always take a hit and play, play nice with each other kind of thing. You know, if a guy comes up to you and he manages to knife kill you or something, compliment him, you know, become that, don't be the, the guy that everyone hates, you know, become the nice guy in the sport, and that's what I want to try and get into this sport a bit more with newer players as well, is be a genuine person, you know, just help others, and like I am doing with you, hopefully we can start giving this sport a better name, and when it starts to grow and it gets bigger and bigger, Hopefully Airsoft will be known as a decent sport. You're not going to get tools everywhere. Don't be one of them. So hopefully that gives you a quick insight to how to start. You know, it is simple really. It's simple stuff. But a lot of people get put off by it. You know, people think there's this huge secret and there isn't. You know, we didn't all turn up one day with golden tickets through the post. And we, could, we had the right to play Airsoft. We all had to start somewhere. We all found our local sites. We all got to our local sites booked on. And we all played the same way you will. Let me know how you get on down in the comment section below. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Because there will be a lot more guides to help you newer players out. If there's anything you want to see, down there is the place to tell me. Or on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's all Flez Airsoft. Get on there. Hit me page up. And I'll always try and reply to you. As always guys, I'll see you in the next video.